Welcome to another episode of Average Dose 3D. Today we're going to look at my curing station. I do have an Eagle Mars um, resin printer, which is completely new to me. I've seen many different ways of building a curing station, but I'll show you what I've done. I went on to Amazon, and on Amazon I found this UV resin curing light. It's for resin that's 405 NM and it has a 60 watt output. Now I couldn't figure out if I just wanted to hang it or I needed an enclosure, so I started with something basic. Okay? I have mirrors, pieces of mirror that I bought for my um, CR10. Uh, you know the CR10 when it first came out? The plate was not flat, so they recommend going to Home Depot and getting plates. So I have some left over. So this is a perfect base, and I can move it anywhere I need, but right here seems to work the best. Then I purchased a light, which is the Amazon recommended choice, 60 watt um, UV. And then I bought this rotating base. I bought the rotating base. I put aluminum foil on the top to reflect, and this is good for some of my smaller, simpler pieces. Say something like like flexi rex, where there aren't too many facets, so I'm not going to worry about trying to get in every crack or crevice. This should work well. For something more complicated, like this, instead of using the turntable, I usually end up using water. Water will disperse the light and get it evenly in all the cracks and crevices. So something like this, it will reflect all over and the water will even the light out. So it works really good. So let's take a look at the box. So it's just a cardboard box and it could be any box with a rectangular hole cut in the top and covered in alum aluminum foil inside. Now, the easy way to cut this and have it work is, sorry about that, I had to grab a knife, is to take a knife, a knife should just pop open, which is not, there it goes, okay. All right, so what I did was I cut here and here, and then along this, and along this. And I just use packing tape for this. You don't have to get fancy. This is literally just stuff I had laying around the house. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. I had everything all ready. Okay? Now, I worked the glue off of this flap. Like this. Let's see if we can cut it a little bit more. A lot of tape on that. There we go. And then, I took aluminum foil. Once I had it folded open, which every box will do, I took a single sheet of aluminum foil, taped it along the top to keep it in place, taped it on these edges to keep it in place, and folded it back under and taped it there. So literally, this took maybe five minutes to do. And once you have it like this, you can easily just fold it back up, tape it up, put your print inside, and then place this on top, turn it on, and within 10 to 15 minutes, it should be completely cured. So this is my take on a curing box for the Ego Mars. Let me know what you've done in the comments below. I'm sure everybody else has been just as creative. And as always, you have a great day.